Welcome back to Dance with Mary NYC. This month I'd like to talk to you about dancing on slippery surfaces. Sometimes you get asked to dance on a non-dance surface. It could be anything. It could be cement, wood, tile, you name it. With me, I have Nina. Thanks for coming by, Nina. My pleasure, Mary. Nina is a beautiful freelance dancer and a dance actress here in New York City, and she's come to help show me some techniques and tricks to dance on odd surfaces. It's really important that you have the right tools. Let's go over a few of the things that you'll need. Most of these items can be found at your local drugstore. Moleskin, household cement or decorator cement, small pair of scissors, manicure scissors work best, rubber stick pad, suede pads. Now I know for myself I've been asked, the weirdest surface I've been asked to dance on is marble. Yes, they asked me to dance on marble. How about you? Grass. 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 The green stuff that grows. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what did you do? Well, let's just say those grass stains were coming out of those point shoes anytime soon. <laughs> oh my god. So you see, sometimes you're not on what we call a marley surface. Marley is actually just a type of linoleum. So if you're on one of these odd surfaces, we're going to show you a few things to do. And I had seen some interesting things that you had done with your point shoes. Yeah. And I, I wondered if you would share that with everybody and Absolutely. kind of show us. Okay, Absolutely. so maybe we show everybody first if you dance on, like, say, a weird surface. What sure. surface was this that you danced well, on? Well, this is what cement will do to your point shoes. Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really awful. <laughs> yep, you can see every layer just like stripped yeah, away. Yeah, boy, okay. Yeah, okay. so this is what happened when I didn't cover my point shoes. Okay, okay. But you can see here after the fact, I went in and put moleskin over the tip. Oh, okay, so you brought it up over the tip and covered it. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so uh, I think everybody would be really interested to see how you did that. I would like sure. to see how you, yeah. Yeah, my pleasure. So. Here I have taken a brand new point shoe. Okay, so let's just point out we didn't cut off the satin at all. No, no, okay. just, okay. just the way it is, you know? And I take a moleskin sheet, a pair of scissors, and I cut the moleskin in half. Okay, so you didn't mark it or anything, you're just cutting no, it down the middle? No, just cut it down the middle. Okay. Oh, and I might want to point out that mm -hmm. this is a thin layer of moleskin. There's a double foam moleskin. Uh, we don't want to use the double that foam. That is a good differentiation. Yeah. yeah, you want to use the thin stuff. The thick stuff is just too gushy. Too gushy. Okay. Too gushy. Yeah. So, it has a natural adhesive on the back that it comes with. So, I just take off the back of it. Okay. Bam. And then I aim the tip. Kind of for the middle of the half sheet. The center of the, the half center. sheet. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we may want to so show them that. Yeah. Just see she aimed for the center, the center. right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, terrific. And then I pat it down firmly so it sticks. And then I go kind of over the pleats a little bit. So oh, that okay. way if you're doing like a PK up, you're not gonna slide. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and I do that to the other sides as well. Same reason. That way you have now this a is more traction. This is really interesting because it looks like you're almost making a pie crust. You know, a little you bit, right? Pie crust. <laughs> <laughs> Something's cooking in the oven. <laughs> okay, so of course this is a lot of extra moleskin. So what I do to take care of that is I just cut off the excess. And you have to be careful with the scissors because it'll you stick do. a little bit to the the edges, right? right. Okay. Just boink. Off it goes. Take your little ends there. Thank you. And you don't need this stuff, right? I don't, you can, you get, don't, you can okay. just toss it. Yeah. yeah, toss it away. So you can see here what I've done is here's the tip. So a little bit over the edge of the tip, I have the moleskin. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can just do that all the way around it. Huh, that's really interesting. So you're cutting pretty close to the edge, but not completely to the edge of the point shape. Right. Okay. Yeah. Although, you know, depending on the choreography, mm -hmm. if you're going like all over the place, you might want a lot more. Oh, right. Traction. Maybe if like you're doing you're rolling over your point. Uh, tip like or contemporary like dance that. where you have to do a lot of sliding. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's floor of work thing. also. Yeah, yeah. So it just just depending what you're up to. 
Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm actually, yeah. look at that. That's wonderful. It's so smooth. And I guess you just tamp it down, right? To make right. sure. To make sure okay. it stays. Wow. So now you can use rosin on that still and everything. You can. Okay. Yeah, you can. And you still feel like you can slide very easily on like, say, like a tondu or a glisse or maybe a yes. glissade or something? it's not inhibitive. Oh, okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. That looks great. And you know what's so great is it almost blends into the point shoe. I'm, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't use this for a photograph, but... No, no, no. It's not meant to look pretty. It's utilitarian, right. for sure. Okay, but it's still, it's still from far away, mm -hmm. maybe on a stage, it wouldn't... Oh, sure. Or in a grass field, <laughs> <laughs> far away, it wouldn't show so well. Exactly. Wow, that's yeah. terrific. Uh, I'd like to show you, actually, one of the techniques that I've used. I oh, have had to dance on some really sort of crazy surfaces, marble being one of them. It was a it was a lucrative gig and once we got it we couldn't say no. We literally entered into a, uh, into we were in the public library and we oh entered down these huge marble stairs. So uh, what I've taken is this is a grippy piece from uh, ladies sh shoes. So oh. you put them on the bottom of ladies shoes so you don't slide. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, it's it's a good shape and everything. So I just took this and it does have its own adhesive. Mm -hmm. I just uh, detached it and then what I did was I placed it on the point shoe and it's wonderful because this sheer shape the teardrop shape actually fits very well on a point shoe. It looks like a natural. It, it does and it goes around and sometimes you have to cut it and sometimes you can just tamp it down and you just push it all around mm -hmm. and look at that. So this gives you a little bit more of a grip. It feels a little bit like a sneaker so if you're really mm -hmm. having to do gliding type work it's not going to be so great but if you feel like you're going to be on a surface where say they come up to you and they say we waxed the floor for you and made it nice and shiny which i've had people do that wax yes. thank you very much you're like yes thank you <laughs> so uh this would actually help you stick that would more. be perfect this is this is that really terrific and uh it, once you put this on your shoe though you can't go back and use it for a regular mm -hmm. technique because this stuff doesn't come off and it leaves the adhesive i'd like to show you one other uh -huh. piece that I have here. This is suede. Suede, uh, it's the same idea as your mole skin. Oh, and what you do is you get some kind of household cement. And what you're going to do is you glue the one side and then you do the same thing. See that mm -hmm. shape? I almost think that looks like a mushroom huh, when I look know, at that. Right, it yeah, it's, a, it's like a little mushroom. Or a loaf of bread. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, sure, a loaf <laughs> of bread. So you can take your loaf of bread and you put it over the tip here. And then you just start gluing and you adhese it. And this is the same idea. This is probably, I would say, the mole skin is the least sticky. Yeah. Suede, a little more sticky. Mm -hmm. Rubber, a little bit more sticky than that. So I think different that, gradations of sticky. Absolutely. Yeah. It really just depends. You have to test it out and maybe have maybe have a few of these kind of things going in your point shoe if you are on one of those services and see how the surface feels. And I think those are some really terrific techniques you can use for dancing on slippery floors. Well, I've learned a lot about dancing on slippery surfaces. I hope you learned something too. And I want to thank Nina for helping me out today. My pleasure. Nina, that was really terrific. Oh, I, thanks, I hope Mary. people use some of her techniques. As always, we always say click if you like it, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.